Hello, Klaus here and welcome back to yet a, another video here at the channel. In today's video, we are going to have a look at a Siri 35mm versus the 50mm. And even though these are from the same brand, they are quite different in how they look. And um, in this video, I'm going to compare those two so you can figure out if anamorphic video shooting is something for you and if it is are you going to get the 35 millimeter or the 50 millimeter or should you get both in one nice kit so you can be shooting anamorphic all the time let's find out in this video so without further ado let's get out and testing okay so for the first test i'm just doing some basic handheld shots here with the Siri 50mm lens and um, in post I did add a little bit of stabilization because it was handheld and um, the shots look pretty neat pretty nice I think it's a pretty nice little lens here so for the next shot I'm trying to do the exact same shot but with the 35mm that being said, the framing might not be 100% the same, but I tried my best to do so. And here I take a split screen and show you the 35 and the 50 millimeter side by side so you can see the different in the crop. So with that out of the way, let's jump to some technical specs. So the focal length is 50 millimeter. The weight is approximately 560 grams. The maximum aperture is 1.8 and the minimum aperture is 16. The shooting distance or the focus distance is 85 centimeters or 0 0.85 meters. And here we have the 35 millimeter lens and the weight of that is approximately 700 grams so it's a little bit heavier the aperture or the maximum aperture is the same 1.8 and the minimum is on 16 and the shooting distance is also on the same plus on the 35 millimeter you are going to have these two focus gear included for free so for this test we are testing out the bokeh in the background here we are on the siri 55 millimeter lens uh, and it, this is at 85 centimeters and we can see that the bokeh is quite small on this in the background and that is around three meters away from the camera so and here we go to this siri 50 millimeter same setup absolutely the same same distance and of course i am a bit closer because of the 50 millimeter and you can see that the bokeh balls are quite nice as well here and a bit larger which is pretty natural i guess and here we just have the 35 millimeter me throwing it the focus around on the 35 millimeters just to show you the out of focus areas a little better on the bokeh balls here we are on the 50 millimeter doing the exact same thing and those are very nice out of focus i must admit so for this thing we are doing a flare test here on the series 35 millimeter and it is a uh, pretty nice flare the 35 millimeter has i think and now we do the exact same test on the 50 millimeter here and in my opinion this is a little bit more extreme than the 35 millimeters so for this test we are doing a flare and bokeh test again just to see the two things combined so i do think this is a pretty nice white shot again me being 85 centimeters from the focus distance and around three meters to the bokeh back and the same here of course same test bokeh and flare test again the bokeh balls in the back being three meters away from the camera oh, and me being 85 centimeters from the lens and again you would see that the light leaks or the flares is a bit more extreme on the 50 millimeter 
So for the last test, somebody asked me if I would do a test without me grading anything. So that's what I'm doing in this test. Again, here we have the 35 millimeters and the 50 millimeter here. No grade, nothing applied. And here at the, the end here, I'm going to do a split screen comparison with the two things so you can see the difference. So what I think is that the 35 millimeter is a little bit more uh, warm in the color compared to the 50 millimeter. So in my opinion, if you're starting out to shoot anamorphic, I would recommend you to shoot with the 35 millimeter because it is able to give you a little bit wider field of view and it is a little more easy and forgiving to work with than the 50 millimeter. Then again, the bokeh on the 50 is a little bit nicer than on the 35 in my opinion. So you have to take that into the consideration as well. If you have the money to do this, I would recommend you to get both the 35 and the 50 millimeter because together they are quite nice and can do some very lovely things. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.